Work in radiological control areas at nuclear power plants can at times expose workers to industrial safety hazards and additionally result in radiation exposure. During the EPRI demonstration, which was performed at the Peach Bottom Nuclear Power Plant, which is operated by Exelon Generation, a drone was capable of performing all these tasks without operator intervention, thereby saving radiological exposure and also industrial hazards to workers. The benefits Exelon will see using the autonomous drone technology will be improved radiological and industrial safety uh, by performing tasks where we would normally have to send people into. What has really impressed me with this technology is that it is all automated, whereas previous technology has required manual operation, requiring a pilot to have line of sight of the drone when it enters into buildings, which we don't always have in the nuclear industry. The control inside tight area corridors is very difficult when using manual drone operation. Radico is a manufacturing company. Our focus was to demonstrate an autonomous aerial system and a ground system. Radico teamed with uh, Exxon Technologies. The technology on the vehicle and the drone can create a 3D image of, of an area. It can also do planning inside of this area, so you can give a, the robot a mission. We will know where it is and where it needs to go and you know how to get out of there. The mapping is done with a fusion of sensors, including a lighter and you know an inertial unit in the robot. Indoor areas are first mapped by the vehicle's onboard navigation system. Destination points are plotted on the map of the area. In separate flights, the drone traveled autonomously to component inspection locations, piping where heat blankets were placed and energized, and multiple dose rate measurement locations. The drone moved along prescribed navigation points and displayed measurement data. My whole job in RP is to protect the workers and the public from radiation, and all these tools incorporated on some way or another. You know, with uh, sending in technology versus a human any time is the best case we can hope for. So these tools all, all do that for us. And uh, very impressive, some of the stuff that we saw. The ability to go around obstacles and the surprise visitor in the room that you didn't know is gonna be there with that safety feature to go around and stop, definitely a benefit. I think as far as deploying the technology, it would be very easy, and it's one thing that we have to look at to stay cost effective. It took me about three to five minutes at the most to uh, be able to pick up the tablet, put in a waypoint, tell the drone where I wanted it to go and how I wanted it to come back. It was that simple.